Hi, my name is Tu Villanoy and I will present hybrid belief pruning with guarantees for view dependent uh, semantic slam, a joint work with Vadim Indelman. Today robots are performing tasks that are more and more complex. In order to do that, many times a semantic observation model and semantic map is uh, required. Uh, this is uh, possible to do because of advantage intenses in recognition and classification in the uh, past uh, decade. Uh, usually the semantic observation are considered to be uh, only class dependent and not view dependent. Consider the following thought experiment. If we concentrate on the people from the lower part of the image, we look on them from above and they stand on the floor. However, if we concentrate on the people in the upper part of the image, we look on them from below and they stand on the roof. This is a motivation why to use a viewpoint dependent model because the viewpoint of which we look on the objects can influence the classification. If we consider a viewpoint dependent semantic observation model, then for a semantic observation ZS, we have a model P of ZS given object class CN and relative position XR. In this case, we have coupling between the relative position of the object and the class, but because this dependency, we have also a dependency between classes of different objects through the relative position. And therefore, the number of hypotheses in general is the number of classes in the power of the number of objects. Going through all the hypotheses is very tedious, and therefore, pruning is essential. Let's consider omega in to be the maintained hypothesis and omega out to be the pruned hypothesis. B tilde is the unnormalized belief. And in order to get the normalization factor, eta, we need to sum over all the hypotheses. Because this is very tedious, many times only the maintained hypotheses are considered. In order to keep a valid probability after pruning, each hypothesis gets a higher probability. This is problematic because the robot thinks that it has more confidence in its probability, which is falsely assumed. Additionally, we not have any indication about the pruned hypothesis because we give them zero probability. In our work, we consider two cases, one where the power of the classes is uh, independent and one where it is dependent. In the independent case, we show that it is possible after some algebraic uh, manipulation to calculate the normalization factor uh, very efficiently. And in the dependent trial, we could not uh, compute the exact uh, normalization factor, but we uh, uh, could uh, uh, bound it from below. And uh, if we have a lower bound, then we have a lower bound on the probabilities. This is also gave us the indication that a pruned hypothesis uh, have a good probability. Uh, in general, our, uh, what we do is uh, as follows. We start with unnormalized belief here and uh, omega in and omega out. Uh, we could, uh, and I will not uh, get to details, but we could uh, uh, bound the sum over the omega out probabilities. Then if we bound it from above, we can bound from below the normalization uh, factor and then the probabilities and so on. In the experiments, we took a synthetic environment of T2D and many uh, objects and that could be from many classes. And we show, first we show the, the running time and we can see that the, the running time of the uh, 
the exact process, accounting for all the hypotheses is exponential and it's not possible. But uh, the, uh, our method is close, is very close to just pruning. Moreover, we showed that in the dependent uh, prior and in the independent prior, the bound is uh, very close to the original uh, probabilities. In summary, our study considered the computation limits of using viewpoint dependent semantic observation model. The coupling between the classes of different objects in this model leads to an exponential number of hypotheses and naive pruning leads to unresponsible uh, overconfident classification. In this paper, we propose two alternative ways to compute the belief dependent on whether the prior of the classes is dependent or not. The computation time is almost the same as the naive pruning method in both cases. When the prior over classification variables is dependent, we demonstrate that the normalization factor can be calculated efficiently, allowing us to query the exact probability. In the dependent case, using our method, we bound the probability that the true hypothesis is uh, pruned, and as a result, we obtain a more accurate and conservative estimation of the original belief with the guarantee that our probability is lower or equal to the real original prob probability before pruning. Thank you.